Hello and welcome to another edition of Forkful of Noodles. I am Krish Mohan. Black Friday. To some, this is the grim reminder of the 1869 gold collapse that left the world mad. It gave birth to the prospector that only had his overalls and straw hats living in the mountains after he lost everything. It is said that if you stay quiet, you can still hear the hammering of the pickaxe and the word gold repeated over and over again. Black Friday is also a grim reminder for Philadelphia police in the 60s who had to deal with the hordes of people looking to save 20% on a toaster or 50% on a purse. Cars packed the streets. People packed the streets. Receipts packed the streets. Black Friday was coined by the cops in Philly who saw the dark pit of the human soul that was being taken over by the devil of consumerism, which came at 15% off. Black Friday today is a positive thing for most retailers. Rather than it remind people of the horrors of the streets of Philadelphia or the lack of dental care for prospectors, it reminds people of stimulating the economy. According to retailers, this is when they go from red to black, meaning negative to positive profit. Which bears the question, how bad was your business the other 364 days of the year? And how much are you marking up these products that when you have a mega sale, you actually turn an immense profit? People love this made-up holiday so much that they are willing to wait outside of Best Buy all night just to trample over a small child to save 25% on a big screen TV so that they can give it to their son so that he can love his father again. To some people, Black Friday is literally the only chance they have to buy their children's love, which comes at a 30% discount this year. It's also the start of the Christmas shopping season. Well, of course it is. I mean, Halloween and Thanksgiving are over, so how can the American people show that they really love this country and Jesus? A shopping spree. Because we all remember the Bible passage, Thou shalt covet their mother and father, and the word of Macy's, especially if there's a bargain to be had. And over the years, Black Friday has been moving further and further back. It's no longer just an 18 to 20 hour shopping craze the Friday after Thanksgiving. No. It has started to take over Thanksgiving itself. This is nothing more than showing how we are driven by our materialism and consumerism. Kmart last year was open for 42 hours, and 40 of those hours the store was empty. But it still proves how much we're controlled by our consumerism. And if you're one of these Black Friday Kmart shoppers, you need to find a new hobby to fill those two hours with. And this year, the new hobby comes at 45% off. But things are changing for the better. REI, the outdoor equipment company, is closing its doors and website for Thanksgiving and the following Friday. 143 stores are closed, encouraging their employees and patrons to opt outside. This means go spend time with your family, go to a park, or go to a turkey farm and apologize for destroying a turkey family. And REI isn't the only one. GameStop, Staples, Half Price Books, and about a dozen other businesses are also closing their doors or at least opening later on Black Friday. They're also telling their patrons to opt outside. And GameStop, Staples, and Half Price Books, whose target audience are primarily nerds, are going to be venturing outside, something they don't do unless they're going to a GameStop, Staples, or Half Price Books. This idea is huge! It pushes forward the thought that we don't need stuff to make us happy. You literally don't have to buy your son's love with a new TV. His old TV is just fine. You bought it for him a year ago when you tried to buy his love. And it didn't work then, so why is it going to work now? You don't need a new bra to revitalize your relationship. Remember that time you bought that corset and your husband was just confused as to what it was? It made things 15% worse for 35% of the savings, and he couldn't even get 20% of the corset off. What your relationship means is better communication. Go ahead. Talk to each other. Say something. Anything. Rather than having the stores open and people trample all over each other, we can close the stores so that everyone, including the retail employees, can be at home relaxing with their families. And yes, I know, family can suck. 
they're kind of lame and they'll always think of you as the immature five-year-old and they'll make you sit at the kiddie table and put you in timeout when you voice your opinion. But you kind of need them around. Who else is going to take you to the hospital after you get kicked in the head by a soccer mom who wanted the same fubu jacket as you did? It's not going to be your best friend. They're in the corner of the aisle laughing their heads off. And it sure as hell isn't going to be the Macy's employee because she's too busy taking care of that same soccer mom who's biting everybody in front of her in line so she can make it to the front so she can get to Target to get more savings. And that Macy's employee isn't getting paid enough to take care of you in aisle 7 crying. Retailers want to remind you that you can only be happy when you have stuff. But when we close those doors, even if it's just for two days, and look around and see who we are with, and all the great things that can happen around us, we can realize that, yeah, having stuff is great, but it's not everything. Sure, that prospector lost almost everything in the crash of 1869, but he's never been happier being outdoors with his fellow prospectors, looking for gold, laughing about his loss of teeth, hunting rabbits for food, and he literally only has his overalls, hat, and pickaxe. Perhaps it's time we see that Black Friday isn't really about stimulating the economy, but rather an addiction to stuff, and that stuff leading to false happiness. Perhaps it's time we see what the Philadelphia police saw in the 60s, that Black Friday is really a monster gnawing at our own civility, causing us to consume over the well-being of our fellow man. It's time we all woke up, and not to get the best bargain of the day, but rather to realize that less is more, and a big screen TV isn't love. This Black Friday, I hope we don't stand outside, and we all rather opt outside and get to every single important person in our lives and treat them a little bit better. I hope that we can find the prospector inside us so that we can enjoy the gold of humanity that's always going to be around us.